I'm Ty Burr. I'm Wesley Morris. And it's time. We're talking about Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. I really, you know, it, you loved it. It wasn't that it was pleasurable. It was that it was emotionally satisfying after this in, this this investment that I and everybody else have put into this series. I felt, especially the first half of the movie, they were finally paying off on all these sort of emotional stakes and all these sort of epic narrative stakes that they had been building up. The final, you know, I don't want to spoil things here, but it's pretty obvious. The, the final. You know, the showdown. Conflict, the showdown. The, the you know, high noon, the Wyatt super Earp on excellent, the, right. sort it of samurai, sort of western. It has to come down to Harry Potter and Voldemort at high noon, you know, on the, on the, 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 the really streets well of That's a really well done Hogwarts. sequence. Um, um, but even the stuff leading up to that, it really uh, affects your emotions about the people you've been following for all these movies, about the places, and one place yeah. in particular, yes. which takes an awful beating, and you realize how much yes, you've loved this place. I never wanted any of you to die for me. So, some things I liked about this movie. Um, I liked seeing Maggie Smith have something to do. Yes. But there is a sense, like, okay, that's not the only thing I like, but it does lead me to something I did not particularly enjoy. And it's nice that they found like, two is, British actors that have not been in a Harry Potter movie. This well, is the other problem with these movies, which is that at the, in the last one, you have to get everybody right, there. Right, right. So it's like graduation, <laughs> but then everybody gets to give a speech. But, the, I, but there's a sense of, of, of valedictory yes, farewell to this yes. movie. You're we're, say, uh, we're all letting go of these people for the, the last time. What, what have we gotten from these movies? What has it done to the movies? Oh, well, that, that's an easy... It, it has given the entertainment industry over to the supernatural. And, and, all, and, 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 and franchises. And, and, you know, these sort of multi-movie tentpole right. franchise. That comes down to Harry Potter. I think it's meant less to us than to the generation that is really, you know, my daughter's age and you know, up to college kids, that it is their defining but narrative. But they're grown people. Yeah, I mean, but, but I it's think their defining narrative. It's, it's where they learn to, to really think about epic storytelling, where mm -hmm. they sort of learn to formulate ideas about good and bad within narrative fiction. Uh, I think it's also made it very chic and okay for, for great actors to appear in not so much less than great material, mm. but in sort of blatantly, nakedly commercial material. It gives these people a chance to sort of lighten up with, with dark material, right. do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. right. and, it all, and their presence also anchors what's basically a pop you know, narrative and you know, gives it some, some heft when you've got these great actors you know, doing these these smaller roles. Yeah, this movie really did it for me. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's the best at this point. I don't care anymore whether it's the best. But I felt like I got my emotional payoff with this film. I did. I do think the last half lost a little bit of energy, lost a little bit of it momentum, did. only because we know what's going to happen. It's, I didn't you know, know actually. You know, but even if you don't, if you haven't read the books, you, you know, know where, where it's, it's going. going. Right, you know right. where it's going, and there's no way that it can end in as big a way as a project, a franchise this big needs. Right. Again, I would have sat through four hours of this. You know, it's not. I don't stand to make two billion extra dollars. <laughs> um, I stand now to give ten extra dollars. So, Harry Potter, it was a good. We hardly good, knew ye. Good ten, eleven years. <laughs> yeah. Nine years, however long. Fourteen, it's been. if you started with the book. In so the beginning. Um, no. goodbye. Goodbye. Good luck. God bless you. Know, you. Get a nice Emma job Watson, at insurance. Daniel you know? Radcliffe. You know? I hope hope it works out. Rupert we, Grint will be seeing you in character roles get for the next twenty years. Again. It's, um, it's been real. Bye bye. I'm Ty Burr. I'm Wesley Morris. Let's finish the story we started together. <laughs> <laughs>